Toledo-based Libby has filed for reorganization under Chapter 11 of the Bankruptcy Code, and it's due in large part to the pandemic. Alicia Guyton talking with local experts, and she joins us live. Libby, Lisa. Lee, Libby has been in business for more than 200 years. It's been based here in Toledo for over a century. Uh, what the company makes is found in homes and businesses all over the world. And local experts say that will not change because of the bankruptcy filing. Libby has a rich and storied history here in the Glass City. But the reality of what we're all living through right now is a big part of the company needing to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. In this current environment, what, what's happening to Libby is happening to many organizations across the country. The good news is that they have a number of lenders that have lined up. They have currently have $160 million of credit available to them for the restructuring. The glassware and tabletop products that are made by the Toledo-based company at its operations here at home and around the world are sold in more than 100 countries. The plant here in Toledo, Ohio, is operated continuously in the same location since 1888. And to keep that legacy moving forward, there has to be decisive action right now in terms of a re restructuring. The company has a large chunk of debt coming due next year. From an operational standpoint, the company's healthy. It's really a, a financing issue uh, that's going on right now. And part of the issue is the fact that so many of the company's customers, like restaurants and businesses, are struggling. A lot of their big customers are shut down. And so that's really what's causing this um, sort of liquidity crisis at Libby. If, thing, if absent COVID-19, they would be able to make their bond payments, be able to refi at a normal rate. And while this is not a good situation for any business, experts believe good will come out of the bankruptcy for Libby. No one wants to go through a bankruptcy, but in this particular case, they're in a, a, a solid position to come out of this bankruptcy, much the same as did Owens Corning, much the same as did Dana Corporation, to emerge stronger and in a better place for the longer term. But Longnecker says getting to that point will mean cuts. Inevitably, when organizations go through a financial restructuring, it requires then a organizational restructuring, and there will be a loss of jobs and consolidation of jobs. And we hope that that's minimized. Uh, by the decision making of the senior leaders at this organization. Libby has more than 5,800 employees worldwide, with 1,100 of them based here in Ohio. On a side note, Mr. and Mrs. Libby's generosity to this community lives on long after their deaths. Uh, well, just one example of that is the fact that the Toledo Museum of Art is still free to everyone to this day because of their contributions. Reporting live in downtown Toledo, Lisa Guyton, 13 ABC Action News.